Each spring when the weather gets warmer, amphibians start their journeys from their winter habitats to ponds and wetlands for mating season. Our Lucy Kale shows us how helping the little critters get to their destination safely has become a tradition for several Vermont communities. That is so cute. Holding flashlights and wearing reflective vests, a group of volunteers survey a dirt road in Salisbury in hopes of helping some cold-blooded creatures cross unharmed. Yep, that's a blue spot. Each spring, amphibians choose a warm, wet night to journey from their winter homes in an upslope forested environment, move to the surface, and then down to their breeding habitat, usually in water. Since those journeys sometimes involve the critters having to cross roads, Jim Andrews and others at Otter Creek Audubon Society and the Salisbury Conservation Commission host two events each season during ideal temperatures where volunteers help salamanders, frogs, and other amphibians avoid getting hit by cars. It's a very cool thing to see. I think it has become in Vermont a rite of spring. It certainly is a rite of spring for volunteers Christine and Preston Turner who have helped these amphibian friends cross the street for the last 20 years. It's just nice to involve the community to see that this happens every year yeah. here in this spot. <laughs> this is their location. Weather plays a big role in migration. Some amphibians move right when it gets above freezing, while others wait until it's warmer. Due to this year's mild winter, experts predicted an earlier migration season. It's very exciting when you, because some nights there are hundreds that are crossing at any one time. Andrew says the changing climate poses a threat to amphibian movement. Some may move too early on a warmer winter night and face a deadly freezing ground. Or sometimes ponds dry out because there isn't enough rain, which is also detrimental. Just messing with the climate as we are doing, um, we're creating all sorts of new challenges for wildlife. He and his team document the different amphibians during the events. If you turned it over, you would see Whoa. the belly is helpful in terms of identification. Yeah. It's a bright white belly with black spots. And they continue this identification all throughout the year so Vermonters can be informed and effective stewards of wildlife habitats. Reporting in Salisbury, Lucy Kale, Channel 3 News.